No time at all. Looks like we've got blood, but we've got him down high enough that we're going to just focus him down. And there he goes. We have, ooh, pants. I need pants. And a chest. Let's see, what kind of chest do I have? I have the three. I need that chest. See if we can't win anything out of this. And a trinket for... Uh, looks like a caster with intellect and spell power. Let's see if we managed to win any of these. Which is actually the Eye of Eternity, as you remember from the uh, Wrath of the King days, when he did that um, great. You start off with a group of um, mods for trash here at the beginning of that uh, our friendly boss will summon for us to try to send us away, but they're not too difficult. See here, they're just grouping, grouping them up. They do have the one um, mob up there. The Twilight, what is it? Uh, Twilight For Frost Invoker as number one. But everything else, it looks like we're just clumping up and kind of AoE down. I take it that the Frost one is the one that's putting this down here. It's probably an AoE thing. As a range, I haven't ran into a whole lot of that issue, so I guess I didn't know. Now we pop these two here. We've got a bunch of weak mobs surrounded by one strong mob. You take, you know, one tank you takes each group. Keep them spread apart. Take them down. Looks like there we just clumped them up to see how much, and then see if we can just desert them down here. There's a boss you can see up there. Not a very hard boss. There's a few simple things that, again, once you've seen it once, you don't get surprised by it, but you really just... I think this goes along with any encounter. Once you've seen it once, it's pretty simple. Here we go. we got another two sets of mobs here. One for each tank. Um, it looks like our tanks are having a little bit of confusion here. So it looks like... There you go. He's got them wrapped up. Again, the frost guys are important. You want to stay out of this here, this AOE. Pretty obvious, you know, stay out of the fire, stay out of the frost. Also, you should be pretty um, used to staying out of these things, because this is the same graphic they use when they um, throw stuff on the ground in some of the raft and some of the cata dungeons. So you should be um, already well trained on staying out of stuff like that. Is that person locked in there? breaks out and runs away. As I don't even take my own advice, I'm sitting here checking the video and standing in the blue stuff. Foolish. I'm not afraid to say I'm not very good at this game. I just love playing it. Coming down here to the end of the trash, not a whole lot left if I'm not mistaken. This is just another AoE the heck out of everything, and...
And that's it. Here comes the boss. A lot of the abilities involve running onto the outside edge, so if you're a ranger, you can throw out there. That can help save a little bit. Oh, and here we go. Ah, crap. So here we go, we got the first special. And this one actually, that range thing there, we actually want to stay together. We have to first kill this here mob, and then what we have to do is stay within 10 yards of each other to keep the chain of lightning to help power each one of these things. So once this thing dies, there you go, that one's charged. Now we're all going to run together. You see that lightning around us. We, run, we need to keep that chain going. And there we've got that one. And now we just need to keep going around. And once all four of these things are powered, um, we will be able to f hit the boss again. And there, wait. Eat. And there it is. Turn. He's a little bit knocked out. And away we go. Oops, a little screw up there on my rotation. So this next ability is going to involve destroying things he puts up on the four corners as we saw before. Along with there's a uh, group of ice that chases you and you if you hit it basically you die. Here it comes. Everybody gets to make sure they're on the outside of the edge. You take one of these and just, you want to kill these things as fast as you can. There's that bubble. If you're in the bubble, you just start taking some major damage. Alright, there we killed it. We want to stay together. Now there's the ice thing. And if you're there, as you say, that guy instantly died. There's four of them running around, so you gotta make sure this is definitely a good point. I really should be an aspect of the fog. Right, we've destroyed one of them now. Once we destroy all four again, he's in the same situation. Oh crap. And that's what happens if you get touched by the ice. I thought I was far enough away. Apparently I wasn't. But basically that's the whole fight. They shouldn't have a big issue. Um, cleaning him up here. It's just rinse and repeat. Um, don't be a fool like me and get killed. <laughs>
and four. And here we go. Back to the boss, and he's, as you can see there, he's knocked out for a little bit. Increased damage by 100% for that 15 seconds. So if you have any like short-term cooldowns that you can do often, that's obviously when you want to save them for. There was 20 million left. This guy, they, they might see one more um, ability, as we've seen before. We'll go, they'll go back to the uh, ice one where you have to kill the crystals. We might possibly see that again. It does have a berserk timer, as you can see in the top right. Um, but obviously, Rick Finder, I've never run into that issue. Excuse me. As his health drops faster and faster. And here comes the last ability that they'll see. As you can see, they're all running as fast as they can be outside as soon as that bubble pops over it. And there's the bubble instantly giving everybody a pushback and taking damage. There goes one. And here comes your ice. Again, it really doesn't matter if you're not with the group. You can still do damage to these. I have been stuck behind it before, but we really can't do a whole lot of damage. So there goes number three, or two, excuse me. They do move fast enough that you really don't want to stop too long. Here goes the last frozen binding and knocked out again. Got another 15 seconds of a lot of extra damage and they're going to just take him down. No problem at all. And dead. My shoulders that I can get. Oops, wrong button. Chaos Orb. Got tons of those. Yay, resurrection. Some shoulders for Rogue, Death Knight, Mage, Druid. Looks like we got a ring here for. As it says there, uh, Paladin, Priest, Shaman, Mage, Warlock, Druid. Definitely Caster, Healer, I'm not sure which. I'm not very familiar with Caster stuff. A nice plate DPS. And guys, that is it. Um, that is the first half of Dragon Soul, the Dungeon Finder edition. Um, I'll go ahead and queue up to the next one right after this. We'll see um, how long it takes me to get in here. The last queue is about 24, 25 minutes. Um, so i just go ahead and turn down the show on Netflix and watch it. And waited for it to start, so sorry for that if I was a little rushed at the beginning. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will go I will get that first one. It'll a little bit be chopped in the beginning of it, or uh, chopped in the day. Eh, I'll throw it at the end of the end of this video or after these videos and just say that this is the first boss because um, I'm pretty sure I do have some footage of it so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you once I get the second half going see ya